him there is none Try and hold it three and one When all is said and done God is amazing, amazing I get comments under my YouTube videos almost every day by people claiming that the Trinity was invented by the Catholic Church or as a Catholic doctrine. And I always wonder to myself, what do they mean by Catholic? Do they really understand what that word means? Because the word simply means universal. So if by Catholic they are saying that the Trinity is a universal doctrine or universally accepted by the Christian Church or the universal Church, that it was accepted early on in, in the Christian history, then they are correct that the doctrine of the Trinity is a Catholic doctrine. But if by Catholic they mean Roman Catholic, the Church of Rome headed by the Bishop of Rome, the Pope, then they are sadly and totally mistaken. Because when the, the, when the Trinity was first used, the word, the word Trinity was first used only a few decades, or several decades, about six or so decades after the Apostle, uh, Apostle John died, it was accepted by the church. It was used very early on by Greek and Latin writers. At least 15 different Christian authors used the word Trinity with favor. The church never condemned or rejected the term. The first Roman Catholic Pope didn't even exist. No one was even called Pope at the time. No one was even called the Vicar of Christ or the Pontifex, of, uh, Pont Pontifex Maximus at the time. So you see at least 15 different early Christian writers slash leaders used the word Trinity specifically in their writings. They accepted it, they, they did not, the church didn't reject it or condemn the term, and that, that only includes the writings that we know of. That doesn't include the writings that we've lost from the early church fathers, and of course the times that Christians have used the word Trinity in their worship and adoration in private churches in those times prior to the Council of Nicaea. I'm talking about 15 different uh, Christian writers prior to the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD, or the, the, the famous uh, Nicene Creed, where, where the Son is affirmed as eternally God, yet distinct from the Father. So we see that the first person who is called Pope, according to Dr. Steve Morrison of Christian Answers, Austin, Texas, his, his extensive research, he's my source in, in this regard, Siricius was the first person to be called Pope, out of all the people. And he wasn't even born at the Council of Nicaea. He wasn't even born. And in fact, if you go to the Second Council of Nicaea in 381 AD, the same person, Siricius, wasn't even crowned or inaugurated as Pope yet. So even if we assume that Unitarians or anti, all sorts of these, these anti-Trinitarian advocates are correct in their uh, claim that the Trinity was finally formulated and accepted by the church sometime in the 4th century, whether it's 325 AD or 381 AD. Uh, the first person wasn't even called Pope. How can the Roman Catholic Church exist without a Pope? How can they exist? Moreover, many people would argue that Siricius wasn't the very first true Roman Catholic Pope, but that the, the very first true Roman Catholic Pope was actually Gregory the Great, crowned in 590 AD, due to his ruling influence that he had, and also the titles that he received, those special titles, especially uh, Pontifex Maximus. So, many would regard him as the true Roman Catholic Pope, and that centuries after the Trinity was already established as the orthodox norm, the standard view of God. So, long before anyone was called Vicar of Christ, long before anyone was called Pope, or Pontifex Maximus, the Trinity was already accepted as the standard, orthodox, correct, biblical view of the Godhead for the Christian Church. So, this idea that the Roman Catholic Church invented the Trinity is totally false, it's a myth, and it is assumed by so many very ignorant people. The reason, of course, I believe in the Trinity is not because of creeds and councils, I'm just making a simple point in this video. I believe in the Trinity because I believe it, is, it can be firmly established from the Scriptures. We can prove the three pillars of the Trinity from the Bible. Namely, number one, that there is only one God in all existence in the heavens and the earth, the one God of the Bible, the one God of Israel, Yahweh. Number two, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are each presented as that one Lord God with exclusive divine attributes that only belong to Yahweh. And number three, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are personally distinct from each other. That they interact with each other in personal ways, demonstrating that they are not identical as one person, but they are identical as one being, as one God. I believe those three pillars can be firmly established from Scripture. That's why I believe in the Trinity. 
I don't believe in the Trinity because of some creed, but I certainly agree with the Nicene Creed because I believe it is consistent and derived from Scripture. So this is a short video just refuting the lie that the Roman Catholic Church invented and formulated and forced the church to believe it. It is a lie. The church was already the, the church already accepted the, the, the term Trinity and accepted the doctrine long before the first Pope even existed. If you repented of your sins, if you trusted in Jesus, if you believe in his death, burial, and resurrection, say what? If you're saved by grace, then if you're seeking God's face, then if you know that you were put here to glorify God, then say what? Yeah.